Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here with the daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. Today, I'm going to jump around a little bit because I want to talk about something I said yesterday. Yesterday, I said that God doesn't need our good works, and that remains 100% true. Our salvation is based on nothing but our faith in Jesus Christ and the price he paid for us on the cross. But there is somebody who needs our good works our neighbor. In Luke 10, Jesus tells the parable of the Good Samaritan. A lawyer asks him what he has to do to inherit eternal life. And Jesus tells him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. The lawyer then goes on to ask Jesus who his neighbor is. Jesus tells the parable of the Good Samaritan, letting this lawyer know that his neighbor is everyone, not just the person who lives across the street, but even someone he may disagree with. In the book of James, James writes, What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warm and filled, without giving them the things they need for the body, what good is that? So also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. James is saying that our faith in Jesus Christ, when that faith is true, it changes who we are. We want to be more Christ-like. And so we listen to Jesus, and we love our neighbor Jesus backs James up in the parable of the sheep and the goats. Listen to what Jesus says to the goats in that parable. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer him, Lord, when did we see you, hungry or thirsty, a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you. And he will answer them saying, truly I say to you, as you did not do it for one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into, into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. We're called to love our neighbor and our neighbors need our love now more than ever. Let the light of Christ, that faith, that hope, that gift of salvation shine through you into a world that desperately needs it right now. Be that source of hope, that hope that we have in Jesus Christ to someone else. Hopefully you found some encouragement in these words, some reassurance. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com or you can email me directly at wilson at blcdelmar.com. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.